guys, I'm back um, with another well review and gameplay video. Um, this time, well, if you remember, my last video was the uh, A to Z of tennis games on the Amstrad. Well, rather annoyingly for me, um, it was pointed out by a YouTuber called Dareal A600 that um, I'd missed out a tennis game, and that is uh, Emilio Sanchez Vicario Grand Slam. So, as promised, it is a bonus video. Um, and it's a Spanish tennis game from a Ziggurat software. Media Sanchez Vicario, obviously a famous, uh, well, semi famous uh, Spanish tennis player. But anyway, here we go. Um, here's the title screen. Obviously, as I said, all in Spanish, uh, but you should be able to work it out pretty easily. I'm recording this, com uh, this review live, by the way, so uh, you get to experience what I'm experiencing in this game. I've only tried it a couple of times, but I've uh, really enjoyed it. Okay, back to the menu. We've got J for Unjuggedar, so we press J. Oh, hang on, what's going on? All right, I'll try that again. Press J, Dos Juggedars. One player, two player, easy enough to work out. K for controls, let's, let's hit the K key now. Okay, J for joystick, M for menu, back again. Um, P for partido, practice, play, whatever. Anyway, list of tennis players. Famous players from the 80s there. I've got Becker and Agassi and all that. Uh, hit the space bar to move down and then enter to select. So we'll go for Matt, John McEnroe, the legend. Right, here we go. Oh, try again. Laggy controls on this uh, menu system, strangely. Don't know why. Alright, let's go for Wimbledon. Let's start this up. Come on! Okay. Thankfully, the game itself is not laggy in, with its controls. Okay, so I'm Emilio Sanchez Vicario. I'm at the bottom of the screen there. I'm about to serve, and basically, you've, you've always got that crosshair um, for targeting and placing your shots. That is always constantly there, not just for serving. So I'll come on to that in a second and how that works, but let's just let's just get a serve up. Alright, so fire button to throw the ball up. And then fire to hit now. There you go. Alright, so we got that in there. Okay, well first of all, as you can see we got uh, nice detailed graphics. Um, it's actually only in four colours. It's actually in mode one, which gives well you can only use of four colours, um, but sort of sharper resolution, smaller pixels. Um, but they've used a uh, dithering there really well to give sort of an illusion of different colours. It's just obviously a mixture of the uh, green and orange there in the background on the court and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that it, um, some good animation, no music. Um, but as you'll find out, some decent sound effects. If I wipe this serve out, did you hear that? We've got sample speech. <laughs> hey! So, anyway, the whole point of this is um, you're not really in control of your tennis player, you're in control of this uh, 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 cursor and crosshairs. And basically, you're, you're controlling that, and the computer controls your player. Um, as he runs onto the ball and swings his racket, so you're not doing any racket swings yourself, you're just positioning his cursor and then choosing your shots with the fire button. And the shots you choose, um, you can cycle through by hitting the fire button, changes the icon in the top left corner of the screen there. I'll see if I can demonstrate. Alright, let's get another serve on the go. So I'm moving the crosshair to the right, he knocks it there. Press the fire button and I've changed to a lob shot there. Is that sort of green, sort of loopy uh, arrow? Obviously, I muck that up. Now, the confusing thing about this game is that there is a brief few seconds when you when you return the ball that you are actually in control of your player, and you can move him across. Like I've just moved him to the left there. Um, which can be a little bit confusing because you're thinking you, you're in control of your uh, crosshair. When actually the computers return control of the player to yourself to move around the court. Perhaps if you want to run into the net, um, you know, to do some uh, volleys, you have a serve and volley game. So that does get rather confusing at times. Let's cycle through the shots. Right, I'm going to go for another lob shot. Oh, but McEnroe's knocked it out. 
and what have we got? We've got the V for, hang on, it's hard to show. Right, with that we're on the uh, sort of spinny loopy arrow, the D, um, that's top spin. That pick the pink one there, I think that's just like a normal return, straight, uh, straight shot or whatever. Oh, I actually won that. <laughs> serving to me and I'm at the top of the screen there. Oh, oh I'll see if we can lob him into the top corner there. Oh. Ah! See, there. that's why I fucked up there, because I, I was trying to position my cursor ready, but the computer had turned control of, my, of the player, and uh, so I messed that up. Oh, God. I guess you've just got to remember that potentially for the first few seconds, um, you may be... Oh, check out that lob shot. What a beauty. Just remember that you might be in control of your player. But this is a really novel gameplay system, actually. I'm not sure I've seen it used before uh, in other games. I have a feeling I have somewhere... Maybe I'm thinking of that 3D uh, tennis game we looked at. Now here's a problem, right? I'm going to pause this there. Oops, hang on a second. Right. Um, I'm over the, way over the other side of the court. My, my cursor is way over the other, on the opposite side. Now I'm trying to move it back, um, but it's sending my, per, my, my uh, player further and further um, out on the other side of the court. So uh, that's another sort of big major fault. Um, I'm perhaps not explaining that very well. So if I move my cursor way over there, and say my player was over the right hand side of the screen there, by the time uh, you get you return control back to your player to move it back, it's it's just you don't have enough time to get the cursor back, especially if you want to sort of play it all the way down here or something like that. Um, it's a bit annoying. You could have done with like a, a special key just to like return the uh, cursor back to the uh, centre of the court or something like that. That would have uh, resolved that problem. And also, oh my gosh. Hey, lobbed him. Lob shot's perhaps one of the most useful shots in the game. But if you get it wrong, you'll often sort of smash it beyond your reach. Hey. Okay. Well, on serving, um, Serving's good fun. I mean, obviously you can, you can position it wherever you want, but getting an ace uh, past these guys is, uh, I found, near impossible. I don't think I've ever aced uh, anyone. You could certainly uh, force him to knock the ball out most of the, some of the time with a difficult serve. Maybe if I sort of throw it up and then move the cursor at the last minute. Oops. No. actually um, but quite a novel uh, play system here it actually works really well because at the end of the day um, with a tennis game you want to have sort of real control over your shots and where they go and stuff and this kind of like playing system um, kind of really works for that I think removing control of the position of your player and swinging your racket is no bad thing a lot of the games, a lot of the tennis games we looked at couldn't even get that right in the first place. So, uh, oh, there are a few niggles, um, as I've already mentioned, and perhaps not explained very well, um, but I'm sure you got the gist of it. Um, 
but otherwise this is probably one of the uh, best tennis games on the Amstrad actually and I feel really bad that I missed it out of my uh, the, the big A to Z video but you know hey ho this didn't have a, a UK release or an English version so you can excuse me for that I suppose but uh, yeah graphics you know um, a bit simple uh, some decent animation if a little crude in places but it looks like we've got some kind of sprite scaling going on as they move further into the court and out which is pretty good nice and detailed though um, even if it's only basically four colour graphics they've used uh, Diver in there really well a bit of a crowd there as well got no music but the sound effects are decent but with some pretty good sample speech always nice to see so yeah um, do you know what I think I'll probably give this uh, I'll probably give this either an 8 or an 8.5 out of 10 I'm really quite enjoying this Ooh. yeah somewhere like that 8, eight and a quarter <laughs> but it would definitely yeah, I'd, uh, I'd, uh, in my uh, A to Z video I did have a sort of a top 3 recommendations well I'll expand that to a top 4 recommendation so uh, this would be recommended alongside uh, Pro Tennis Tour, Tennis Cup 2, and uh, gosh, what was the one I recommended? I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, highly recommended. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you soon. Cheers.